Hey guys, welcome back. I hope this is a little bit bit of a sound for you guys. I finally got my new microphone in. Um, work has slowed down a little bit, so that's good, and I have a bit of time to record. So, um, in my absence, I've been trying to figure out how everything is going, what I need to do, and I see I'm gonna grab a few comments from the actual. Um, I'm gonna grab a few comments of what people actually would like to see. And from there on, we will um, work with it. So, um, I'm just launching up my, I'm starting up my engine, and I'm gonna make a cut, and I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, guys. Um, so, unfortunately, um, I haven't been able to get the sound settings to work correctly. So, it's, I will not be able to do those, unfortunately, until a much later time, until I can figure out all the little kinks all right but um, there's one thing I want to do some of uh, people keep bringing up how to do an until dawn kind of um, camera setup so I will show you guys I'm gonna delete all the cameras in the scene besides the ones that are on the player and I'm actually gonna take this player out all right so we have a player start that's fine and we will continue with that all right so First of all, let's set up those cameras. So, uh, first of all, we need all classes. Camera. Right, so he has a camera, and this is now placed in the scene. We're gonna quickly tear it out, lift it up, and find it. There it is. Okay, so let's make a camera scene. So, we do this. Make it look from the corner uh, let's see I'm trying to find just the right hmm just see how we can alright I'm gonna clear reset this and just point it up a little bit by 20 degrees then I'll rotate it to the right position. Then we're gonna lower it down just a little. Because we want it to be looking at the scene somewhere. Now, this camera will be activated. Sorry, I know I'm knocking the microphone a lot. It's scratching my eye. Alright, so this camera will be activated by a... Um, we call them volumes. So you go here and basic. A box trigger so then on this trigger um, this kind of camera setup involves a lot of playing with um, playing with uh, the level blueprint so the box extent here will be um, let's say 300 by 300 by 300 all right so this is pretend like it's a room and inside this box this camera will become active so what we're going to do is we're going to rename this camera to camera room main one all right so what you're going to do is you're going to click on first of all you're going to blueprints open level blueprint now with the Second blueprint. All right. So with these trigger box, this is going to be um, camera switch. Um, called, um, volume. So I'm just trying to think of a good name. Room. Okay. So save, and with this selected. With this selected, you're going to go into the actual level blueprint and you're going to right click and say here um, add an event for camera switch, collision, on actor, begin overlap. So while there is an actor inside this 
inside this room. Okay, while he's in the in that room we just created, the uh, it will activate a specific camera. So what it will do is it will take other actor and it will say for equal. Does this other actor is it our player? So do I do it? Third. Uh, so just looking for the third person blueprint. Uh, third person character. Is it the third person character? Because that is our main character. If yes, we're going to create a branch by holding B and clicking. So first things first, you must check, is this a character? Our character. If yes, then what you want to do is, you want to uh, grab this other actor, cast third person character, just um, and then you want to disable that. Disable camera. Deactivate the. Deactivate the camera. Boom. So what you want to do is you want to actually deactivate all the cameras on him. Then you want to deactivate. Wait. Deactivate the death cam. And also because we have one more camera, deactivate the follow cam. We also need to deactivate the first person camera. Deactivate first person camera. So basically what we're doing here is we're just deactivating all the cameras on the player. Uh, because we don't actually need them at that stage. So you're going to save. And then what you're going to do is you're going to grab. You're going to click on the camera that you selected here. You're going to go back. And then right click and then say. Or function. And the actor, uh, act utilities. You're looking for the activate. Um, yeah. All right. Let's create a reference to it, and then the activate. Uh, no, sorry. Camera component. You want to activate. Alright, now, so that now will activate it. So I'm just gonna show you from here. Save. And then what we're going to do is we have to go back and then set this to auto activate to be off. Save. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press play. Now, as you can see, I'm still spawned up here, so I'm gonna run around, around, around. Now, watch. This should work. Oh, uh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, something's wrong. Let me just quickly see with the debug here. I'm just going to move this over a little bit so I can see what's going on. Alright. So it's not seeing it as... So let's remove this, make this true for now, and we're going to press play. So, what you will see is, what you should see is that this camera has just became inactive. But, also there's one more problem, is the fact that our, somewhere on the character there's another camera we don't see. There's follow, FP, and death. Okay.
Why is it not doing it there? Uh, first things first, this must be visible. And this camera. Disabled, it mustn't activate. Uh, Alright, let's see. It's no longer active, it shouldn't be active. But for some reason, so when going to the actual part there, um, we need to see when you go there, it should go in. And deactivate all of these. Let's just see if that works for a second. Okay, I'm gonna save right here. In. Hmm. Okay, so we activated that camera, but it's for some reason not not going it's very strange uh, if you really want to you can actually just quickly fix this up this is the right way Okay, let's see now. Alright, so the problem here is the movement gets a little bit funky. Alright, give me a second just to figure this out and I'll be with you guys just shortly. Alright, cool guys, I have figured it out. It's actually quite simple. So, what we're gonna do is after the cost, we're gonna do the same thing here. True and false. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this out and then say. Um, camera, camera, um, disable, okay, we're gonna have to disable each one, so deactivate, um, what, oh, I had it, just one second, okay, cool, so, um, what we had so far is this, um, all I did is I removed everything, put it into just one, put it into deactivate. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the same thing, but actually, no, that's gonna be on a different thing in a second. Um, I'm gonna quickly select this switch again, I can close this up and hey. Okay. Sensitive, call a function, add an event, collision, and end overlap. And it'll be this exact same thing. Like this. And what we're going to do is instead of deactivate, we're going to type activate. So what happens is when you enter the sphere, all of the cameras get deactivated. And when you exit it, it will get activated. Right, that's the easy part. Now, what you're going to do is, you need to grab this camera. I moved the camera as well, just for testing purposes. Okay, so you're going to have it selected in the level. You're going to go back, and you're going to zoom in. You're going to right click and create a reference. Then, you're going to drag this out and untick contact sensitive. Then you're going to say um, view in the search box. You're going to view with blend. All right. So set target view with blend. Now it doesn't matter where you are. You can do it like this. All right, so this will now enable it. Now you're going to right click and say get player controller. Get player controller and you're gonna put that as the target. Compile and then um, 
depending on you're gonna you can create a new variable saying current active camera in a third person but I'll show you how to swap back to it now so you're gonna press play um, here is the actual screen now watch what happens when I walk into it it is now in the screen and when I walk out it's still in the screen because it doesn't know where to go next alright but this is what you guys want to see so so far this is working so let's go back and now we're gonna do the same thing put that into the target activate it and now in the third person character I'm gonna go into it and then say here variable current active camera and here you, this is going to be a camera actor camera component sorry and now we're going to do this so um, this is Based rest. So let's see on the camera change, which is change perspective, set active, set active to camera there, and now current active camera will be set to the first person camera, and here it will be set to the follow camera. And compile, go back to there, and you're gonna from the third person from the cost you're going to say get current ac uh, enable context sensitive ca get ca what? current active camera I want to get the current active camera from you camera uh, get get current active camera and that will be active uh, for um mm, let's just see if I can change this to Okay, so the camera actor won't go like that. Fantastic. Um, hmm. All right, so let's see. New asset should be. Well, the new view target would be the actual player. Well, right, let's see if this works. I'm gonna press play, and now I'm gonna enter the box and go out of the box, and there we are. As you can see, we got into the box, and now we come out of the box. And that's basically how you do it. So you create these blueprints. You could create a blueprint object that allows you to create a box like this. That will then let you go for it. And there you are. Um, pretty simple, as you can see. Uh, just a small hiccup there. I was a bit confused about, but this is how to do a until dawn type of camera view all right guys thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time peace out all right guys um i just want to thank you all for um, all the support uh being at 10,000 views is pretty cool for me um yeah it's pretty awesome in my opinion quite um, happy thanks for all the support um, I'm sorry about the slowness of the videos. I've just been really, really busy recently. With, uh, little, a little bit of a mess. But um, yeah, thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.